Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will learn how to filter the rows from Dataverse in Power Automate Desktop. So please watch this video till the end so that you can understand it completely. And if you have not subscribed my YouTube channel yet, please subscribe it. So let's get started. In Power Automate Desktop, under the Microsoft Dataverse category, we have list rows from selected environment, right? Using this action, you can retrieve the data from your Dataverse table. Apart from that, here we have this filter rows. Here we need to provide the OData filter query to filter the data from Dataverse table. In today's video, we are going to work with this table which is employee record. And this is the data that we have in the Dataverse table. Now I will go back to Power Automate Desktop. So first of all, what we will do here is, we will select the environment. So I will click on this drop down. After that, I will choose the table name and next field is that we need to specify the select columns here if you do not specify the columns it will retrieve all the columns from the table to provide the column name you should always use the logical name of the column and if you are going to specify more than one column then each column should be separated by comma, right? After that, we have filter rows. Consider that we are going to filter the data based on the employee designation, right? So I will go back to the Microsoft Dataverse. And here you can see that we have first name, address, company name, email, last name. And then here we have role in company. There are two ways to get the logical name first way is that you can click on this role in company then click on edit column and then go to the advanced and from here you can copy the logical name of this column so i will just press ctrl c to copy and then click on cancel another way to get the logical name is that you can click on back after that you can click on columns and here you will get all the column names since we want to filter the data based on the designation here we will use the role in company so i will just click on this three dot then go to advanced then go to tools and from here you can click on copy logical name right so i'll just click on it now i will go back to the power automate desktop and here i will paste the data and let's say I want to filter the data based on the analyst. So I will give EQ, which is equals to, and then I will specify the value as analyst. Consider that you only want to filter the role and you want the first name. So what I will do is I will again go back to the Microsoft Dataverse. And then from here, I will look for first name i will click on this three dot advanced tools and copy logical name since i want more than one column so i will put a comma and then paste it here and then i will click on save i will right click on this action and then say run form here execution has been completed i will click on it and then I will click on more. Here you can see that we have got two rows, right? Here you can see we have first name as Doe and the role is analyst. And here also we have John and analyst, right? Consider that you want to add one more condition and now you want to filter it based on the advisor, right? So I will just go back to Power Automate Desktop. I will open the action. And what I will do here is I will just copy it and put a condition as or role equals to advisor. I will click on save and then run from here. Here we have got an error saying that cloud connector called failed with the status code 
bad request. Reason behind that is we have given O in the capital letter. You need to make sure that the operator which you are specifying here, it should be always in the small letter. Then I will click on save and then I will run the bot. Execution has been completed. Now here you can see that we have got three rows, right? Rows are for analyst and one row is for advisor. Now consider that you want to filter the data based on the first name as well. So here what you can do is you can wrap it in the bracket and then you can come here and put a AND operator and here you can say that first name equals to John right so now with this condition what we are going to do is we are going to filter the data where the first name is John and role in company can be either analyst or advisor now I will click on save and then I will run the bot bot execution has completed now I will check the output Here you can see that we have got only one row, right? So here the first name is John and analyst is the role of that employee. Apart from this, here you have an option to specify the order. Now consider that you want to sort the data based on the first name. So what I will do is I'll just copy it here and I will remove this condition here. And then I'll go to the sort by paste the first name column and then here I'll specify the order as descending I will click on save and then I will run the bot execution has completed I will check the output here you can see that the first name has dog and it starts with D and the first row as the first name as Stan and it starts with S right so this is how you can filter the data from the data words table and you can sort it in the ascending or descending order right if you want to sort the data in ascending order you can specify ASC which will be followed by the column name and if you want to sort the data in descending order you can use DESC right if you like this video, please click on the like button and please subscribe my YouTube channel. And if you have any question, please post it in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.